Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to convince others that we cannot divide it by zero. And before I do this, I have to do some prep work with you guys. So let's look at the regular division, such as one over four, which is the same as saying one divided by four, right? And suppose I do not have a calculator. To do this, I will have to use the long division. And now let me ask you, what goes inside? Where it's a number on the top or the first number right here, if you're looking at the division symbol right here, right? So you know, one goes inside and the four goes on the outside, and then now what? You ask yourself, four goes into one how many times? Four goes into one zero times, so you put on zero right here, but you still want to continue, you don't want to give up right here, right? So you put on decimal, you put on decimal, one is the same as saying 1.0, and now you can look at four right here, and this is like 10. Four goes into 10 twice, two times four is eight, and you subtract 10 minus eight is two, and then you just go ahead and do it. You can still continue, put on zero here and bring that down, and then four goes into 20 five times, and put down this right here. You know you are done because you make the progress. This is zero now for the remainder. So you know this is equal to 0 0.25, and everybody happy, right? Good. Now let's look at what happened when we divide it by zero. This is just as crazy as that I'm using a purple pen, right? Anyway, let's look at one, why not? But any number will work. Let's say I have 1 over 0. In another word, we can look at this as 1 divided by 0. You can look at this as the following. If somebody thinks that he or she can divide by 0, we can do the proof by contradiction, right? Suppose, told him that you could do it, and make him or her do that, right? So let's go ahead and use the long division for this. And now be really careful. What goes inside? Once again, it will be the number on the top, or the first number, right? So it's the 1 goes inside. And in this case, the 0 will be going on the outside. Put on 0 here. So, suppose we can divide by 0. Let's try it and see what will happen. And now, let me ask you, what times 0 will give us 1? What times 0 will give us 1? What times 0 will give us 1? If you put down 25 times 0, that will be 0. And actually, let me just work something out with you guys, okay? Let's not put down 25. Let me put down, let's say, uh, 9. Why not? 9 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. This number looks really familiar because I think that was the original question. <laughs> Unfortunately, 9 didn't work because I didn't make any progress because the 1 is still there, right? So 9 is not the answer, all right? And now let's look at maybe I had the 1 inside, 0 on the outside. Maybe I just, you know, had a bad luck. I chose 9 earlier. Maybe let me choose the number you know, 7, lucky number 7, why not, right? Uh, 7 times 0 is 0. And you see 1 minus 0. Once again, this one looks so familiar, right? <laughs> you see, right here, here we have a trouble. Because it doesn't matter what we put right here, this number times 0 is always 0, and 1 minus 0 is still 1. We cannot reduce this, right? So there's no number that we can put it here, multiply by 0 to produce 1. Just no answer for it. So therefore, this right here, we call this to be undefined, because no matter how hard we try, I should not put an equal sign, I should put an is, right? No matter how hard we try, we cannot find an answer. So that we multiply with zero, we produce one. All right. So this is it. And here is a small bonus part. What if I am trying to do zero over one? What's the answer for this? Now this is the same as saying zero divided by one, right? Okay. Long division. What goes inside? The top number or the first number, which is zero here. And then this number, which is 1, goes in, uh, goes in the front, right? What times 1 will be 0? Well, we know 0 times 1 will be 0. <laughs> 0 minus 0. Hey, look at that. The remainder is 0. Just like that one, isn't it? So when you have a 0 on the top, 0 divided by 1, this is 0. This is the answer, right? This is the answer for that. So right here, let me be legitimate for you guys before we go. Right here, when we have any non-zero number divided by zero, this right here is undefined, right? We have no answer for that. 
So if you can put down 25 divided by 0, 32 divided by 0, negative 17 divided by 0, all of them you know, are undefined. And in this case here, when you have 0 divided by any non-zero number, okay, this right here, in fact, you always have an answer which is 0. So in another word, for example, 0 divided by 5 is 0, 0 divided by negative 22 is 0, 0 divided by pi is equal to 0, 0 divided by e is also equal to 0, alright? Alright, so you may be wondering, what in the world is 0 over 0? That's for another video, but anyway. <laughs> this is it for now!